Allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is the game. Jeremy McWilliams, remember the name. Ready to grab a VIP spot and go to Marshalls! Whoop, whoop. If and only if we can get inside. If not, it's gonna be a super short video. If so, still gonna be a pretty short video because it's like 6:30. Marshalls closes at seven because of the coronavirus. So we don't have too much time to uh, get our shop on, or more importantly, get our shoe on. Or Shoe search or sneaker sneaker search? Sneaker search, shoe search. I don't know, we don't have time. We'll figure that one out later. But for now, first things first. Suit up! Bada bing. Bada boom. And we're good to go. Ten seconds later. Well, that was a colossal waste of time. It's just walking in and uh, someone else was getting ready to walk in the entrance, which is over there. And I heard an employee saying they're not letting anyone else in because apparently the checkout line's like an hour long or so my dude says. Probably not gonna buy anything anyway, so I'm thinking about possibly getting over there and be like, hey, can I just browse around? I'm guessing that's will probably be no, but you never know if you don't ask. Even if I did find something and my dude's telling the truth, I'm gonna be honest, I'm not trying to wait in an hour long line to buy maybe like one or two pairs of shoes. If this was Ross, might be a different answer, but since it's Marshalls and I haven't found a good pair of kicks at Marshalls in what seems like years, probably not worth it. Not worth it at all. We came, we saw, we tried again, we did not get in, but we will return tomorrow. So stay tuned for part two, coming at you. Jeremy trying to get in to Marshalls after the coronavirus, actually during the coronavirus, part two. You don't want to miss it. It's going to be super duper exciting. I'm just watching people over there getting denied left and right. My dude's out there swamping people like flies. He's like, bah, bah, bah. He's having a little too much fun doing it, to be honest. He's out there spraying carts. People are walking by, asking him to go in. He's giving them that Dikembe Mutombo finger wave. He had to get one in. He said, no, 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 not today. Nah, for real though, dude's doing his job. Can't hate on that. It is slightly disappointing because this Marshalls was not very close to where I was. Now you see, I could have called ahead of time, but that is just not how your boy rolls. I like to wing it. Sometimes it works out, sometimes it does not. And this time definitely falls in the latter category. So uh, return we shall. In the meantime, I don't think there's really anything else around here to check out. So uh, dang you Marshalls. You may have won the battle, but the war is not over. I'll be back with some reinforcements tomorrow. Count on that. Tomorrow for sure. As you guys can see, his marshal's right there, clearly, but... So... They're doing one exit, one entrance, and the entrance today, at least for now, is actually at this home goods store. And as you guys can see, it looks like we do have a little bit of a line going on. So it's about that time to get our weight on. I'm so excited. I was gonna go backwards or left, but my only options are uh, to follow the yellow brick road. Follow the yellow brick road. Follow the yellow brick road. Follow, 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 follow the yellow brick road. AKA the one way signs. Take me to the shoes, Mr. Red Signs. Por favor. Well, thank you very much. Uh oh. How the heck do I get to the shoes? I don't wanna go this way. I'm gonna go this way. Huh? No one-way markings, so I'm not really sure what I'm doing. Got some clothes. I'm getting closer. I'm getting closer. One way, one way. Uh oh. Somebody's breaking the wall. One way, one way. Bad boys, bad boys. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? Bad boys, bad boys. We go this way? Oh, no, no, I'm breaking the wall. Man, this is super confusing. No, let's take a little shortcut. Beat the system. 
Don't tell anyone. Give my shortcut on. Oh, look at that. Good looking individual right there. Hello. All right, here we go. Back to the one-way markings. Getting close, guys. Getting close. One way, one way, straight, straight. There we go. I'm in shoes. We almost made it. We almost made it. GPS finally got me there. Oh, can't go that way. But we can, and we shall go this way. Kid shoes, not what we're looking for. But we do have some adult shoes. Not looking too uh, spicy, though, if you know what I'm saying. Some Adidas, Pumas, Nike Pre Runs, Ugly Armors, I mean, under armors, Roshis. Come on, man. I ain't come all this way for nothing. Are you going the right way? Yeah. Ooh, I see some Jordans. I believe I've seen these before in the past. They look like kids, too. I can't remember what these things are called, like the big one or something like that, but they definitely look like they're kitty sized. Survey says $39.99. 5Y. Hmm. 5Y, 40 bucks. And another one. And what else do we have? Some more Adidas. Nike Air Max. What was that Dynasty? Nothing, 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 nothing. I think you guys are seeing a uh, theme here. Are these some air forces? Yeah, maybe. Some free forces since I have no tag. And here we go with the main events of the evening. What are those? Seriously, what are these things? Anyone know? Drop a comment below if you do. Some like suede felt, Nike blue. No idea. Never seen these before. Definitely have a couple of them now. 20 buckaroos, got some big Jordans, besides these, 35, these things look huge. Wow, my favorite size, I love this size so much. I wish every shoe size would be 18, definitely my fave. Could have swore I walked in Marshalls, not Ross. You don't see too many size 18 at Marshalls, but coronavirus. Coronavirus! See what we got here, this is looking like, honestly, the only potential candidate. Which is not saying too much. Size 12, not a bad size. Nah, we just gotta find out what they're called. Got a little Air Max bubble going on. Hmm. Now we'll put them in the cart. Where's your friend, Mr. Wright? All right, research a clock time. Well, well, well. Finally found them. Entered the code on eBay. For some reason, they didn't want to show up right away. But I found them on GOAT, and this is what we're working with. Air Max Trainer 1s in like a medium gray colorway. Like I said, size 12. And uh, yeah. That's going to be a big, unfortunately. I would get a little bit excited when I see something Air Max. But uh, yeah, you win some, you lose some. Definitely taking that one now. So back to the show. So they go. All right, all right, all right. So. I'm still in North Carolina. I've never been to this Marshalls before. This Marshalls men's clearance section is quite a bit smaller than what I'm used to. This is all we're working with. This is the whole shebang. You guys ready? Bada bing. Start. And finish. Yep. That's about it. So other than the Air Max trainers that we showed you, which honestly I kind of dig these shoes in this colorway. They're my size. For 34 bucks. I might hop all over these for my personal collection, but not like we have too much else to look at at least not now unless i'm missing something i would look at these if they weren't andre the giant sized other than that we've got some tennessee ball adidas and that is about actually there's one more thing what are these some cheap looking nike running shoes yes and no go man slim pickings to say the least i don't really know what to expect I have a feeling maybe the store start opening up on Monday and it's in a little more crowded of an area. So if there was any good stuff to be found, it's probably long gone at this point. The only other pair I thought that might possibly be a maybe was these Jordan 5 AMs in this black and red colorway. Size 13 for 39 bucks. Two little peaky peaky at what eBay, Goat, and StockX had to say. And this is what we're working with. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, looks like we'll probably be leaving these dudes behind as well. These are definitely, unfortunately, not one of the more sought after Jordans, even with all the last dance craziness going on. So, uh, and that's it. Let's go check out the uh, normal shoes. And this is it as far as the uh, normal men's shoe section goes. <laughs> you guys saw the clearance, and this is the rest of it. 
not looking all too much better. Man, nothing. The only reason I even knew Marshalls was open is because I saw a video from Hustler Hacks, who I've mentioned quite a few times on my channel. As far as uh, good shoe resellers to watch on YouTube, he posted a video about his Marshalls reopening recently in Texas. I want to say like Monday. And he, along with I think a few other people, were finding, I don't know if it was KD5s or what, but I think that's the only thing he ended up picking up. And I was hoping, fingers crossed, I would find the same thing, if not something similar. But as you guys can see, very, very wishful thinking. Unless Kevin Durant's hiding somewhere, there's no KDs to be found. Got some big Nike highs, aka these red Air Force looking things. And that is about a wrap. I think we have another side to this aisle, which is probably about as solid as this one. And then we are off to, I guess, check out the clothing. If we can navigate through the maze over to the clothing, that is. We shall see. We gotta remember to follow the yellow brick road so we won't get kicked out. Here we go. This is it. Men's Athletic, which forgot I already went down here right when we walked into this aisle and it is still a whole lot of nothing unless I'm missing something I guess we'll check the boxes real quick moments later Adidas uh oh what do we have here Nike Air Max NM size 9 good size I always want to check out the price tag 140 oh got a little South Beach colorway going on looks like we may have found a winner a little diamond in the rough if you will although they're looking a little on the Yo, so what the heck is that? What is this, Ross? Seriously, man. Did I walk into Marshalls or Ross? I could have swore the signs at Marshalls. They even have the price tag on the bottom like they would at Ross. What is going on? Right, I'll take a closer peek at these. More moments later. All right, so took a quick look on eBay. There's only one other size nine. It's listed for 147 or best offer plus shipping. And they're called Nike Air Max NM. Some places were trying to say they're Ken Griffey's, and some were saying they were Hideo Nomo. Both baseball players, if you're not familiar with either of them. Probably why they have the baseball on the bottom right here. Definitely digging the South Beach colorway, I must say. What I'm not digging is the little Ross-inspired yellow stainage we got going on. So, choices, choices. The good thing is, they're supposedly brand new. They come with the box. They seem pretty rare. There's not very many of them on eBay at all. Don't seem like they're uh, too easy to find anywhere. So I'm definitely gonna pick them up. Worst things are worse, I'll return them. But uh, hopefully I can clean them up a little bit. If nothing else, maybe list them for like 130 or so, maybe a little bit lower, depending on you know how well I can clean them up. If not, I always am 100% truthful in my listings. I'll point out the yellow stuff and make that known, lower the price accordingly, and we will go from there. Not a bad find though, considering uh, what we originally walked into, which was a whole lot of nothing. So for now, we'll take the South Beach Air Maxes, see what else we can find. And the journey continues. Another thing I just noticed when I was looking for the price is, usually there's always a tag on here, obviously, that says Marshall's price. Not seeing one though, unless it's invisible. Someone snagged it that came before me. I'm guessing it was supposed to be attached to this little dude right here, but no dice. So, I think we're gonna roll with uh, the 060, which I'm gonna go ahead and take an educated guess and probably means 60 buckaroos. So, we snag them for 60, list them for, like I said, 130 or so, depending on a little bit more research and how fresh and clean I can make them look. Either way, considering they're rare, I think we're looking at a pretty decent profit. So, not a bad start or kind of start to the day. I don't really know where we go from here because unfortunately, Ross is still closed and Burlington is still closed. And I guess I'm going to go check out the clothes section, see what that's looking like. Maybe swing through the, the whole three shoe aisles again real quick, make sure I don't miss anything. Maybe another pair of these bad boys. But a little bit afraid to check out what the uh, checkout line situation is looking like. So I suppose we should head that way sooner or later if we're going to grab these dudes. So the journey continues onward and upward. Our clothing section was a bust. And unfortunately, I got a little peek at what the uh, checkout situation is looking like. So not too excited about heading that way, but got to get home at some point today. So we got to navigate the maze, find where the line starts and uh, let this journey begin. yippee ki yay Let's go. Hey, 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 cart, you're going the wrong way. Hey, you, wrong way. Can I read? Get it together, man. Get it together. Oh, I think there's an end in sight. I think there's an end in sight. Pulled a little illegal U-turn. 
I'll tell anyone, guys. You know, I'll tell anyone. And there we go. Target acquired. I've paid my dues, I've done my sentence. Many, many minutes later. We are the champions, my friends. Ta-da! And we're back in Florida. It's like two in the morning right now. I just drove back to Florida and I was just trying to finish editing in that video. Got to the end and then I realized my camera died before I got to do the final clip. So you guys saw me walk out of the store with shoes in hand. And as I said in the video, there was no price tag to be found on these shoes. So there was bad news and good news. The bad news is I was sitting at the cash register for quite a while because they could not find the price tag for these shoes because there was none. I didn't say anything about the 060 on the bottom because for one, I figured they probably already knew about it if that was indeed the correct price. Two, I figured I'd see what price they came up with. If it was a lot more than that, then I'd point that one out and try to argue for the $60 price. But after maybe like 10 minutes or so, another employee came in the front. I guess the one that was back in the men's shoe section looking for the price tag, she said she couldn't find it. So instead of grabbing another pair of these, since there wasn't one, she grabbed a pair of clearance Nikes that were in some like generic box. And good old Marshalls decided they were gonna give me the homie hookup and give me the price on those shoes and pretend it was these shoes. So the price on those clearance Nikes ended up being 32 buckaroos. Not mad at that. So just to recap that whole sequence of events again real quick, we have the original Nike Air Max NMs, these bad boys, with a retail price of $140, as I showed you guys earlier in the video. I thought Marshalls had them marked for $60 based on the price tag on the bottom of the shoe. This price tag mysteriously went missing. And then once we got to the checkout and all the smoke and dust eventually settled, somehow we got a price of $32. Not only that, I also have a Marshalls credit card, which gives me rewards from time to time. And what do you know? It's been a while since I've been to Marshalls, so I actually had three different ones I could use. I chose to use a $20 reward, which is pretty much just a $20 gift certificate. So that brought the grand total for what was originally a $140 pair of Air Maxes down all the way to $14.32. How do you like them apples? I personally think they taste pretty dang tasty. Like I always say though, you win some, you lose some. We finally came away with the W. It's about dang time. Anyway, it's not a bad way to return to Marshalls. And as I just said, I'm back in Florida, although I gotta get some sleep. But if Marshalls is open up around here, I'm thinking about going to check out maybe the two or three local ones around here within the next couple days to see what they're looking like. Maybe we'll have some more good luck and some homie hookups thrown our way. Come away with some more of these bad boys or maybe some of those KDs I was talking about earlier in the video. If you've been to Marshalls since everything started opening up, let me know what your experience was like. Did you find anything good? Find anything bad? How are the lines? How are all the new Corona related rules and all that stuff? Let me know down below. That's a wrap for the video. If you have any questions about anything I covered in this video, as always, feel free to drop them below. I'll do my best to help you out. Either way though, thanks for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day. Enjoy the rest of your night. I'll catch you in the next one. Stay sane, stay safe, and as always, stay limitless. Wow, winning. Take a shot, you got everything you'll ever need. You fought, you're not gonna let up on the speed. Those